Work was quite interesting, and I'll, I'll explain something about that. There was something really annoying that happened, we'll put it that way. Good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? The dogs are doing sleepy time. Sassy's not doing too good today. She's thrown up about seven times today. We don't know what's going on with her. So, yeah, she's not feeling the greatest. That's why there's pee pads right here in case she throws up again. So, guys, think and pray for Sassy, please. I'm going to get her some Pedialyte tomorrow so we can at least get liquids down in her. So, it's been a long day, I guess. This morning, I mainly slept and then went to work. Work was quite interesting, and I'll, I'll explain something about that. There was something really annoying that happened, we'll put it that way. Got off work, came home, napped for like two hours. And then had dinner. One of our family friends came over and we played cards. We played a game called Platform and that was so much fun. We played Platform and we played Rummy Cube. And then right when she left is when I remembered, hey, you have a vlog you need to put up. So I'm working on that right now. But the thing that happened at work, I got really annoyed about this. So I met a couple and they had this adorable little puppy. And I was holding puppy, petting her, whatever. And they also talked about take, that they've taken this dog to Walmart. And I'm just like, you know that's wrong, right? But here's what gets me. So, I told you guys yesterday about the woman who thought the same thing, but she did not know the law. This guy, on the other hand, let me tell you, he, like, he, this was right after he learned that my dog is a service dog in training because on my name tag for work, it has MRL in his vest. He also said, hey, my dad used to have a dog for PTSD. Knowing that, this guy had the audacity to tell me that he, like, will still bring his dog to Walmart and will just be, and he'll flat out tell Walmart associates, oh, this is my service dog. I'll just flip out if I don't have her with me. And I'm just like, that's not okay. Oh my gosh. It is one thing to not understand the law, but when you know it, but you are purposely screwing around with it, no. I flat out let him know that what he is doing is making legit service teams look bad and also causing a higher chance of a legit service team being attacked. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Why people would do this. Like... I know people like being with their pets all the time, but that does not mean you fake them as a service dog. Because, okay, fun fact for any of you, if any of you are dumb enough to do this, please know you are making legit teams look horrible. You are basically mocking those who actually need service dogs. So, yeah. Because, I mean, you're just pretending... And I mean, people think, oh, you know, you get to take your dog everywhere, that's great. Doesn't mean we really want to. If I didn't have to train MRL to take him everywhere for my panic disorder, then I wouldn't. He would just be a happy, fluffy dog, but, you know, I actually need to have him with me in public eventually, which is why I'm spending so much time and so much energy training him. So just to know that someone was like, oh, I just take my dog to Walmart, whatever, they're not going to ask questions. Unfortunately, a lot of businesses are doing that, though. They are not asking any questions because they fear lawsuits. And of course, this is again part of the people abusing the fact that ADA does not require registration. And I talked to a friend about this and she's like, well, don't they have to pass the public, public access test? They don't, you don't necessarily have to. Your dog needs to be able to 
behave in public access, but you don't necessarily have to do the legit test. That is also something under ADA. So, a lot of stuff, it kind of partially makes me think, why don't the ADA just change it to where service dogs do have to be registered? So there are much less fakes around. But the problem would be, what about owner trainers? So that would affect me too. Like, would they only take service dogs that are part of programs? Because not everybody could get a service dog from a program. I tried. But they're so freaking expensive. And it's much cheaper for me to train my own dog. So, I don't know. It just really annoys me. Even when I didn't even consider at all having a service dog, I still felt it was wrong that people would just fake like that their dog's a service dog would be like oh my gosh I've got like diabetes TS seizure disorder no no that's not how that works at all so for any of you that like to fake your dogs as service dogs just so you could take them everywhere not cool not cool um but other than that, the day was pretty good. I got to pet lots of dogs. Yay! Um, now I'm super tired. How is it that I could take a nap for two hours but still be exhausted? It makes absolutely no sense to me. And plus I gotta wait for the vlog to finish uploading. I want to get me something to eat, but it's late. So I'm like, do I really want to risk it? But, oh well, we'll see. So, with that entire rant in mind, I'm gonna sign off for the night and head off to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, if you are a service dog team, how have you handled people being like, oh, I fake my dog being a service dog? Have you had that experience? And if so, how have you dealt with it? Put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Riddler. Good night, Emeril. Good night, sassy girl. I hope you feel better, baby.